Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And take proper measures to make sure that your post notification bell is turned on and click to all so you get all of my readings daily. If you are interested in exclusive readings for Virgo, be sure to click the join button as well. Only those that have a membership badge will have access to those readings, okay? Now, let's see what's going on, what we might need to know for Virgo. We have Temperance. That's the only card that seems to be showing up. It's like there's something about you balancing something or needing to balance something out when it comes to the things that you might be holding on to that you are not healed from or that you feel like doesn't really serve a purpose for you to have hope for okay i feel like that's not going to do anything for you but hold you back okay and keep you agitated angry when you have the potential to be so much more and to do so much more for yourself to show the efforts behind who you are so that you can help other people okay i feel like you were called to um as a medium or uh Somebody that just has assignments to help people uh, get into, yeah, I just seen one of those cards. Like somebody's on a journey to helping people find their divine counterpart, okay? And you will be uh, granted some sort of like metal gift or monetary gain or spiritual value, when you do this here, that was your mission. That's what you were being called to do. If you are somebody that leans more so onto being a lover and not a fighter, or you'll fight for what you believe in, this message is for you. You are somebody that just protrudes love. Whether you know the person or not, this is who you are. Okay, I before I go any further, I'm going to see what this temperance is. I feel like something is no longer stagnant anymore. Things are moving forward. Yeah, there could have been some form of a competition, complication, problematic situation. It could have been a person, um, a place or a thing. Yeah, I feel like whatever needed to come out that somebody wanted to implicate to do all over again to you, it's like... It's not happening, okay? You're too close to spirit for anything to happen like this here. You win a thousand times over, okay? Somebody is angry or wants to fight you because you have temperance. I don't know what this is here. Somebody that is in competition with you or you might be in competition with them. Like, doesn't want to stop at anything until... You get it through harming you. Somebody is mad that things are working out for you here. This could have been somebody you went to school with or that you might have worked with. This could be an ex-co-worker or a co-worker of yours. Okay, this could be somebody that you broke up with. Okay, feels like you kind of ditched them just to get this blessing all for yourself here. Okay, I feel like... Somebody's doubting a person that they're they're dating or going to date all because of a person that you may have had this five of wands energy with, okay? Or you feel like you have to defend the fact that somebody may not like the fact that you're moving on, but it's your choice to make, okay? Just like they have their life to live, you have choices and things to do, people to meet. This is what life is all about here. Somebody here could be seeing like December 3rd or March 12th as a um, confirmation for something or it's going to take 3 to 12 days for somebody here to get some sort of uh, confirmation for whatever this is or maybe this is a process, a progress. This has something to do with like making up your mind or finding out what somebody here wants to do. Okay. 
you might run into a problem where somebody uses some form of manipulation tactics or injustice to make sure that you don't have any physical or um, monetary stability. Yep, somebody is fighting for you not to have stability. This is somebody that feels like you love them and hurt them. Yep, pay attention to your third eye chakra. Okay, if, some, if spirit is telling you not to move, don't move. Yep. Somebody here needs to overcome their mere obsession with somebody that it's not going to work out with because somebody is not like you. Somebody feels like you deserve to be judged or it's like, your eyes could be open and aware to some form of victory that somebody does not want you to have. They want you to feel powerless here. It's either you compromise with them or you feel uh, powerless to them, lonely, isolated. I'm telling you, compromise is showing up in two different cards, okay? Pisces and Capricorn could be significant here. and success somebody here is trying to beat you to not having some level of, of strength or knowing that you can um, conquer anything to get to the success I feel like somebody is in need to take action to forgive this person whether it's happened or not okay because that will lead you to your abundance that somebody is trying not to have change okay you need to forgive somebody Okay, to embrace this forgiveness or accept the fact that somebody doesn't forgive you. It doesn't really matter. As long as you know you carry some sort of like clean slate or purity to what has happened, you won't see that your blessings go in reverse because there's a miracle that's about to happen that somebody can't stop. Just wait. There are changes coming in here. I'm telling you. You don't hold on to things like other people do because that's what will hold you back from what you want. When you hold on or harbor emotions or um, hold on to, you know, things that people have done, it doesn't bring you any type of inner peace. Just because you never forget does not mean that you can't forgive. Okay? Do it for yourself. Let's see here. Ancestral messages for Virgo. Okay, so we have magic in reverse. Somebody knows that you have some form of a greater power to work up to this this work this major self work that you're supposed to do to bring prosperity in but there is a false feminine that does not feel comfortable with you bringing your higher self to illuminate to others somebody wants you to to be in a dark place but you're the midas okay you're the midas here everything that you will want must be received okay it will be received through the divine and there's nothing that this false feminine can do about that absolutely nothing they feel like they're well, however it is that they feel holds power they want to um, strip you of some sort of power Okay, to be in a place of grief. Okay, but you're leaving the past behind because death leaves the essence that you hold. 
You are never alone, says Yewa. In the darkest hour, you will be guided, okay? Somebody's trying to keep you from staying in alignment to gain prosperity, okay? Let's see here. Let's see. Message for Virgo. We have shark. Take care. Or there will be loss of material wealth. And we also have bags. Something important such as a new job or raise. And then we have wealth at the bottom of the deck. We have arrow and we have the tower. All three cards on the bottom of the deck. In the middle we have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Okay, there could be unsettling times that you need to plan for around your children, your family, or what the next move is. But I don't feel like there's anything that you need to worry about. If it is something that comes up, it's something that you can handle. What is the shark energy? Take care of there will be a loss of material wealth. I feel like something here could turn out really well for you and it could make you very happy or somebody is, is, is happy that they're shedding some sort of light on a situation, okay? This could be a fire sign. There's heavy Leo here or water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody is very bitter and could be hiding the fact that they're causing you some form of like... Uh, problems in your life it has something to do with a masculine okay somebody that felt like you hurt their feelings or they had their they put a lot on the line to kind of change the dynamic for you yeah this is somebody that you no longer deal with or feel like is important to you yeah this person here could be casting some sort of spell the nine of wands somebody wants something to expire for you or no longer be valid for you to have four of cups if it ain't valid for them they don't want it for you they want you to lose credibility practicality they want you to uh, lose your also creativity or being able to connect with somebody um all together yes yeah, somebody's angry or there is somebody that wants to confront you about how you were able to do something or get something yeah because you seem to be the king, the queen of pentacles okay how did you get to this point where you've been able to move over or move away from move on from this person somebody has a problem with you moving on here and they could be consulting with a priestess to turn your world upside down. That's crazy. That takes too much energy to do that. What's this kangaroo energy? Unsettling times needing to plan ahead. What could the possible... Ooh, it has something to do with a, a baby mother or somebody that's bitter, whoever this is. It's a feminine or somebody that may have had an unwanted or um, it's like a sudden pregnancy or something like that. Or somebody here has a very low self-esteem. Somebody feels if their life is going to shit and they've hit rock bottom, then why, why can't you? Or somebody feels like you're responsible for something and they want to attack you here. Yeah, because everything's going well for you, even though you have uh, a bump in a road, okay? Somebody feels like you're using some form of platform uh, or like something to make their life go back or something like that. We have wealth, arrow, and tower. Tell me more about this here. Yep, somebody wants to destroy this or unalive you for it, okay? This is the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords in reverse to the uh, Four of Cups, okay? But there's good news here that you'll be able to escape this or move forward, 
okay? Whether this lover or people that you might have cared about at one point likes it or not, they're going to have to watch you celebrate. I'm telling you, somebody wants to ruin everything that allows you to be successful, to go forward, because you carry a humbled spirit. That's justice for you. That was God's way of giving you the justice that you deserve. And they're going to be shut down. Somebody's going to be shut down here. Okay? They're not going to be able to get whatever it is that they lose back. Okay? So every action has a reaction. Let's see. I don't really like the fact that these cards are coming out, but it's like your, your guides are fighting back. Okay? Just know that. Your guides are fighting back. Just because you don't see it happening doesn't mean it's not. Alright, so there are real life trolls that are jealous of your life and your lifestyle. I'm telling you, somebody's jealous of your life and your lifestyle and accusing you of doing something even if that didn't happen. Okay? Okay. They're mad that you're getting so close. Somebody here could be very cheap or frugal here. Somebody doesn't like spending their money on anyone or somebody feels like you're very selfish or whatever the case may be or harboring money or something like that. We have fearful, afraid of losing you or losing themselves by loving you. Somebody is trying to prove their worth to the wrong people, okay? And went broke or might not have enough to make it or whatever the case may be here like that somebody may need your help financially or you might need theirs let's see somebody's mad at all this wealth that you're going to be coming into message here yep do some research you need more information about this situation look into it further before proceeding and we have assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. Connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Let's see here. Why is do some research here? Stand up for your beliefs and assertive, assertiveness and say only yes if you want to. So don't feel like you have to be pressured into something. Okay? To get it done. What's this do some research? Okay. So somebody is unable to interfere or get more money or not money, but somebody's unable to interfere into something. It could have something to do with money, finances, etc. Yep. Somebody here may have just manifested themselves getting locked up. You get the victory. I'm telling you, your ancestors will never leave you nor forsake you because people did shit behind the scenes. But what's done in the dark must come to light. That's period. You have the victory. I feel like when you know who you are and what powers you hold to overthrow the, the oppressor, I'm telling you, Nobody can stop you. Nobody. Somebody here wanted access to your finances or information to how you're making your money. Somebody's pocket watching you. Somebody's pocket watching you. And they're mad. They're going to they're going to be mad when they go to jail. Cuz everything that they tried to take from you they didn't get. You received the victory and they got a smack on the wrist. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. We have compromise to keep things in balance. And we have romance, okay? So somebody is going to be a part of a romantic relationship or dynamic 
but there is a need to be assertive and only say yes if you need to listen to your intuition something could be telling you no because i feel like there is no co uh, confirmation from spirit okay hmm. listen to your intuition tell me more about this um compromise and romance somebody could be getting you to compromise something with them it could be going half and half on something that you both want what's this uh compromise and romance we have uh the throat chakra so something is going to be spoken on or there's a conversation that's being led okay that somebody's um anxious about somebody's anxious about something or somebody's lying about um some sort of inheritance um or who they are how much they're worth or how they make their money hmm. somebody could be after you because of money or wanting to be around you because of money and they want you to give it up to them they feel like they, they have to dish out some form of um, feelings of love, compassion, emotional awakening to you so that they can get what they want. Beware of this individual here, okay? Somebody's after your wealth. Hmm. They want a share of this. Somebody wants a share of what you have or what you they can benefit from. together okay i feel like physical distance or emotional distance may not be the reason yeah you're leaving something behind without a commitment or contract being signed here you're not falling for something there's something you're not falling for okay and i feel like you're going to get some sort of like confirmation from a air sign friend gemini libra aquarius that could be giving you uh, some some information on a person this is not somebody that you have or share a past life connection with and you may need to take action in order to release this person Some somebody here thinks that they can fool you here whoever this person is or this could be you somebody is struggling with their self-worth uh, or missing you or may need to require some more work to do this here Okay, so we have home, foundation. This is giving four of wands energy. So this could be a reunion with family, friends, um, people that you might have gone to school with or worked for. Okay, I feel like somebody here could be getting a home. Okay, somebody could be leaving or, or not telling you that they're secretly admiring you or may not be admiring you. Somebody is not in a relationship. Somebody is honestly going to tell you that they don't admire the person that they used to be with or you or whatever this is here. Yeah, somebody wants to make something clear. So you could um, expect somebody to show up at your home about this. Somebody is getting out of a relationship with the person that they were dealing with. Okay, so we have travel. There is a delay or a hesitance to experience something new or um, to return to something that may be familiar to a person. We have freedom and surrender. Somebody here didn't feel like they were needed in a situation anymore. They did not... Um, it's like they, they didn't really gravitate to the person like they used to okay somebody has spiritually ascended message for virgo yeah whoever we're talking about the person that might have ghosted you or if you ghosted somebody they want to apologize or you might be apologizing to this person i feel like somebody does not want this connection to be based off of just sex okay or somebody wants sex to be consistent or whatever the case may be here. 
okay? Somebody here may not be true to themselves and that's why you may not consider this person being honest. Or you're going to be honest enough to tell somebody that you don't feel wholeheartedly that this person is being their, their self, okay? They're lying to themselves about their feelings, their intentions, or how they want something to play out. Who is this person hiding a mask and why? Mm, somebody may have just gotten out of a relationship or no longer wants to be in a relationship with somebody. There was some form of a separation. Somebody here might only want to be with you because this person is no longer an option, whether they spiritually um, ignited themselves or not. They just feel like you're just a, a peaceful space for them to be with, okay? They feel like they could be at peace knowing that they made an alternative decision, okay? And you're not happy with that. You're not settling for that. You don't want to be the, the second option, okay? There's nothing wrong with going out, flirting, doing whatever this is, but... You ain't, you ain't gonna be nobody's second option. The Knight of Cups to the Page of Swords. Somebody's trying to figure out if you're trying to dodge them for somebody else that you might have been connected to in the recent past, okay, or have unfinished business with. This could be like a baby mom or a baby daddy or somebody that you see a future with or to have children with. Yeah, somebody feels like you you tripping over them. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Let's see here. How does this person feel about you? What is it that y'all need to know for Virgo? They wish they could hold you. They miss being around you, smelling you, tasting you, whatever the case may be. Look, we have, I want more, but I'm scared. You are intoxicating. You are adorable. I'm working hard on myself, but they're not really doing the work that's required for them to fully heal and to move on from their karmic mistakes. See, maybe they're lying to themselves about their spiritual journey. They're trying to cut corners to be able to come back towards you. Maybe this is what this mask is about. Not showing their true self and cutting corners and saying, oh, I'm done. My spiritual work is done. It's not as easy as that. They're not done. They just don't want to miss out on the opportunity to be around you. Kind of reminds me of my kids when you tell them, go and clean up. Oh, one, two, three, I'm done. No, there's more work to be done. You can't be done that fast. Go and do what you're supposed to do. We have stress, commitment. Okay, somebody's not stressing themselves out over a commitment that seems like a binding connection here. Okay, somebody feels like they're, they're trapped within their own mind themselves or somebody else that's keeping them there that somebody's trying to get out of this dream state. Somebody wants to escape, to have peace, so that they don't end up living their worst fears or nightmares. I feel like there's going to be a peaceful exchange between you and a person when it comes to a um, divorce or separation here. Number 61, 69, 78 could be significant. Let's see here. What's the message? What is it that we need to know at this time? Message for Virgo. Okay, so overall, I'm seeing pop the question. I don't feel like you're going to be accepting some form of uh, commitment from somebody or you don't want to get engaged or married because you still feel heartbroken, okay? Somebody could have left you broke. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not happy with this person. I feel like somebody feels as if you turned your back on them, but it's actually the other way around. This person shut you out when you needed them the most. And now that you're at a place where you don't feel like shit, they think that they could come in and offer you some sort of reckless sex or love. Okay? I don't feel like somebody is uh, messing around with this person that they they work with. Tell me more about this um this workplace affair in reverse. Somebody could have called it quits with a person that they were sleeping with that they worked close to. Oh wow. So it looks like somebody here could have dated a person that has a child or that they share a child with, okay? That they initially seen a family dynamic growing from this, but I feel like somebody could have been hiding some form of information or something like that. There's some sort of secrets or lies around this, and that's why somebody's deciding to move forward, to focus on themselves. And getting back to, you know, not feeling so hurt, figuring out their emotions. Somebody here could be 39 years old, okay? Somebody needs to go and check the number 3939 because I swear I seen that number earlier. There's something about March 9th or September 3rd that could be significant as well. I feel like it took somebody... quite some time or a couple weeks or days to make that sound decision without looking back, okay? Let's see here. Oh, wow. Virgo, you have a lot of cards that are spilling out here. Overall energy is femme fatale. Somebody uses their erotic energy to get what they want when their dependency is rejected or compromised. That's what I'm picking up here. We have child nature, hero, heroine, rebel in reverse, mentor in reverse, and mystic. Somebody has a very specific connection to animals or a certain way that they communicate with animals here. Somebody um, is like an animal whisperer, okay? A bunny rabbit could be significant. Somebody here could have um, charms or beads in their hair if it's a cornrow downwards. Um, I'm also seeing that you're going to, you, you've always loved animals since you were a little kid. You love um, seeking out like animals that you would never believe to see outside. With this hero heroine energy, somebody is escaping and using a false sense of heroism to get where they need to be. I said that earlier. Rebel is in reverse as well. So there's something about the colors green, orange, olive, and like a maj majestic or royal blue or purple. It's like a bluish purple. We have rejecting legitimate authority out of anger. So somebody's um, relating back to their, their childhood of feeling like people always were around them doing things to get something from them so they feel like they had to grow up the same way or that was okay it was okay here somebody could be a rebel out of peer pressure or rebelling out of peer pressure or fashion Somebody felt like they had to make their own way by making their own rules. With this mentor, there was an inability to allow a student to move 
on to the next of master. This is somebody that a person is dealing with. This is a karmic, a karmic that had to um, act like they were saving a person, but also treating a person like they were an object that they were to be kept in order to have what they wanted. This is like manipulating energy. We also have pioneer. I didn't even notice this. Somebody, somebody thought that being with a divine feminine or masculine, masculine was going to make them more of a divine feminine or using a, the essence of a feminine that this masculine was once close to, to um, incorporate it in their own energy. This is crazy. Message here. Virgo, what is it that Virgo needs to know at this time? Somebody here could have felt like they were being taken advantage of or forced into something. At the bottom of the deck, you're going to be hired, but I don't feel like this is going to be suited for you. Somebody's going to try to either rip you off, not pay you or whatever this is. This could be some form of charity that you might be doing. For some of you, you might not even, um, this could be some sort of volunteering or charity work that you could be doing or whatever the case may be. Or somebody could be losing money or doing something because they have no money. Or the money that you're earning may not be much or none at all. So somebody could be stiffing you, okay? We have something significant about this holiday. And rumors, I feel like somebody is holding on to some form of a secret or information. What's this um, significance of Halloween? It has something to do with a connection, a vibe, a relationship. Somebody's holding back on telling a person that they're dealing with somebody or that they're in love with this person. Okay, or something may have been put on hold. Whatever this is. The numbers two and eight could be significant. February 8th or August 2nd could mean something to somebody. Somebody is playing games. The reason why people are doing this is because if they feel like they could put somebody on pause, they can do something completely different to another person. Okay? Somebody is tired of the conflict, the competition, the going back and forth, the not being honest, the um, shutting people out, blocking them not giving access to somebody's looking for peace here and when they, where there is peace there is abundance togetherness effort collaborative energies friendship somebody could be stuck in their emotions as well here Somebody is stuck up in the emotion of being able to court a person, see them, be around them. Somebody's hurt that they don't have the opportunity to do this anymore. Whoever this person is, they used to travel to you at night. Or somebody could be a cab driver or whatever the case may be. Or this could be their parents or somebody that's ex external to them. Or there's something significant to a license or a vehicle. Somebody could be a car salesman as well. Somebody is feeling very antsy, afraid, or feeling like they have to put up their guard. Or this could be your energy here. I feel like somebody's doing something differently. Like from now on, I'm going to put up my guard. I'm not going to make myself too available. I got hurt that way. Okay. I don't want to be in a situation or another because I put myself out there only to be defeated. 
okay? And only for a connection to break down. Because that's going to break me down. Yep. I'm telling you, four of wands. Somebody's going to start doing the opposite of what they did before. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. What do we need to know? Okay, so we have gloomy thoughts and main person as well as his thoughts and soldier. The number 16, 2, and 33 could be significant. Hmm. Somebody here is sad when they when they think about this main person, whoever this woman is. He's deep in his thoughts because it's coming out in um, two different decks here. Gloomy thoughts and then his thoughts. Somebody's trying to change their mindset when it comes to this main person. Let's see. or you've already established here. Hmm. Somebody knows that this unfinished business, it takes two people to want something. Somebody may not feel as if something will work out. And that's possibly why they've walked away from this connection or is choosing to do so. But somebody's still checking in on you. Yeah, somebody's still worried about what you're doing, how you're doing it who you're doing it with, the people that you connect to, etc. This person is like deeply invested or embedded into your life. Whether or not y'all are together, the numbers six and three could be significant. Yeah, trigger. We trigger each other like crazy. I just can't do this anymore. I told you. You will hear from me soon. Avoidance. I'm ignoring you because it's easier than telling you the truth. So they're hiding something. In which the cards have already said this. Right? Expectations. I just can't be what you need right now. Let's see. What is this avoidance energy? Why do they feel like they need to avoid and lie? This is how they keep shit in line or uh, deal with things. There's some sort of news or something that's working out that is positive or there's some sort of positive direction. Um... They're trying to figure something out. Somebody here is going through a separation and they haven't told you or they're holding back on telling you something because they're trying to figure out their options or what their options are or there could be some sort of legal situation or somebody needs to be fair to the connection by not getting into another. The queen of pentacles and the queen of wands in reverse. Is he dealing with two people? Is this a polydynamic or polyamorous? Hmm, somebody's trying to figure out what to do about these two situations or whatever the case may be. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign and a earth sign queen. Hmm, somebody has two baby mamas possibly or two people that he's in a situation with. He's not necessarily over this. This, this could be fresh. This is a fresh relationship that may have gone south. Somebody's not in love with a person or doesn't feel like they're, they're balanced with an individual or somebody's looking for balance. Remember we said that in the first place when we started the read. Look, we had temperance. 
which means balance. And this is the thing. However it began is how it's going to stop. And how it stops is how it begins. However you want to look at it. Okay? The person that you're connecting to is looking for balance, which is what they found in you. But there are things that make it seem like this is not going to work. Okay? The thing that they're looking for was there all along. But it's there's something that's... Um, repelling y'all away from each other maybe it's the communication maybe it's not understanding each other's boundaries or what somebody likes or doesn't like but it's so crazy to me how the first card out was temperance which means balance or um solidification things being made equal it's like you're pouring into somebody else's cup the same way they're pouring into yours it's like there's some form of balance that's also coming out in this deck here. Page of uh, Cups, the Tower, and the Five of Pentacles. There's going to be some sort of direct positive change surrounding like you having communication with somebody, but they're delaying it. Tell me more. For the Virgos, what is this page of cups afraid of? Why is it being delayed? They're they're afraid that they may come with some sort of flirtatious energy and them getting sidetracked from having a conversation. Somebody's physically still attracted to you. And they're they're worried that because they're physically attracted, you don't even have to do much. You don't you don't gotta jump all over this person to get their attention. Y'all could just be in the same room together apart from one another and it's like the both of you i'm telling you ace of swords ace of swords in, in in the middle of the deck yeah somebody feels like it's just gonna go back to the same old same old like y'all are just gonna be falling in love with one another through um love making or like this flirtatious energy they don't want it to be like that because that's not all they want ace of swords look Ace of Swords. That's truth here. Somebody wants to take something slow or to be very cautious, okay? Because they are they don't want you to, like, kind of storm out or block them out, okay? And then go back to the same stage. They feel like you're, you're going to be telling them off, that you're already healed and that they don't want to bother you. Or some, I'm telling you, uh, Ace of Swords. They don't want to turn your foundation or your life upside down if you've already healed, okay? Somebody's looking for a new beginning or a fresh start or uh, trying to figure out how to recreate something through healing. Hmm. Yeah, somebody here has a person watching you or they're watching you themselves. Yes, somebody's coming clean about something. Somebody lied about their lifestyle or who they are or what they do. Okay, they controlled or programmed you. Okay, investigation. Somebody here could have created an open investigation on you or you on them or feels like you did this. Your real twin is waiting to meet you. Okay, there's something significant about this person's hair or um, the hair products they use or whatever the case may be. I don't know what this is. some sort of lifestyle or how much um, or when you do something. I feel like somebody knows your daily plan. Somebody could be trying to take advantage of that to try to take advantage of you. Okay, I'm getting the same messages as I did with the other one. We have cell towers, phone company. There's something about this person intercepting cell towers or knowing where you are every time you're out or not out. Somebody knows of your whereabouts and uses that information to try to take advantage of a situation, okay? We have inner strength. 
Nothing can touch me. Avoidance, invisible or invincible. We have winter. Okay, so somebody here feels like they cannot be touched. Okay. We have earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have dealership. So there's an earth sign that wants to make some sort of deal with you or maybe somebody that's an earth sign will be signing over um, a title to a vehicle or whatever this is. This could be somebody's grandson or cousin or whatever this is here. We have main floor and follow up with a coworker. So somebody may have an interview to see their co their uh, caseworker, I'm sorry. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. Anyway, Virgos, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.